What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Recurve Duel. All right, guys, so today's random question of the day is, what is the worst thing that ever happened to you at the beach? I'm gonna have to say this is a two-way tie between the time when I was real little and I stepped on a jellyfish and it stung me, or the time when I went to Florida and I got sun poisoning, and oh, that hurt so freaking bad. If you've ever had sun poisoning, you can definitely feel my pain there. But I wanna hear you guys' beach stories. What is the worst thing that ever happened to you at the beach? Leave it on down there in the comment section below. So today's video is all about this guy right here, the Recurve Dual RDA from Mike Vapes and of course, Watofa with a big huge shout out and thank you going to Watofo for allowing me to take a look at one of these devices for the purpose of making this video. When I first learned that Mike Vapes was coming out with a dual coil version of the Recurve, I was super excited because I absolutely love the original, but dual coils is just more my style. So having two coils in this Recurve dual is just such a dream and I've really enjoyed this one for the past couple weeks. So taking a quick look online, this device comes in six different color options for you to choose from. You've got stainless steel, rainbow, black, gunmetal, gold, and blue, and it's only gonna run you about 30 bucks, so it's definitely affordable for pretty much everyone. And with that, if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that is right down there in the description below. But without any further ado, let's dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the Recurve Dual in its original box, so let's quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll talk about what's inside. So first things first, nice big display window here so you can see the product from the outside of the box, which is great. However, I feel like they should have done it like the original Recurve, where they had the deck separate from the cap so you could actually see it before you buy it. But in any case, we've got Recurve Dual here with Tofo and Mike Vapes right there. On this side, we have the color indication, UPC, and little scratch and check thing there. We've got Recurve Dual with the, the design on it on the bottom. On this side, we have some basic stuff like what's in the box. And on this side here, we have a Watofo logo. On the back, pretty much your basic stuff, just the Watofo and Mike Vapes logos. And that's about it, just some warnings and manufacturer's info. So taking a look at what we get inside the box, the first thing you're gonna see is, of course, the Recurve Dual itself. We'll take a better look at that in just a second here. Underneath this big block of foam here, we have some coils, some Watofo coils, which I have already installed in my device. So there you can see the specs on them if you guys are curious, but very good high quality coils there from Watofo. We've got a set of tools here. We've got a little Phillips headed screwdriver and an Allen key there for you. And then we have this little guy here. Now this is kind of like an adaptation of the coily tool, which it has these little one millimeter thick slabs of plastic and these little holes cut in them. That is so you can trim your lead and I believe they suggest, oh, I think it's like six millimeter or something like that. You just take one of these pieces, this is a four millimeter and add two more. And then that is the length of your coil leg. So I really like that. I like that they include that right in the box. We also have some Watofo cotton. You guys should be used to this by now. They've been doing that for a long time with the little aglet ends to them. We've got a spare tip. This is a nice little frosted drip tip and it's 810 in size. And we have our baggy O parts. So we've got a flat pin, we've got a couple of screws and a couple of O-rings, all the required stuff right there. And, oh, okay, so it is seven millimeters. So that was the recommended coil length right there. It shows you right there in the box. And then you have your little user manual as well. It's fold out. Uh, not a huge fan of fold out manuals, however, it does give you these beautiful color graphics and very detailed illustrations. So that is definitely a good thing. I won't knock any points off because it basically cancels itself out. All right, guys, let's take a look at the specs. First of all, it's 24 millimeters in diameter. It has deep juice wells, superior stainless steel construction, postless build deck with quad terminal design, peak insulated, dual coil configuration. It has coil focused slanted airflow with adjustable airflow control. It comes with an 810 wide bore resin drip tip, BF 510 squonking pin, which is a gold-plated 510 connection. All right, guys, so let's take a close-up look at all the parts of the Recurve Dual, starting off with the drip tip up top here. Now, this is an 810 fitting tip. However, if you look down the bore here, it's about the size of a standard 510, so I'm not really sure why they did that. I don't think it helps any, and I, I personally am not a big fan of it, but that is what they give you in the box there. Obviously, they do give you this spare 810 tip as well, and this one appears to have 
have a much wider bore. So if you prefer a wider bore like myself, then definitely go for that tip there. So there's nothing super special about the top cap section for the recurve dual. It's got an O-ring on the inside lip here, which grabs onto your drip tips nice and tight. And it also has a fairly wide platform up here. So if you have a kind of wider, flatter drip tip like this one from the Turk V2, it actually looks pretty darn good up top of there in my opinion. But with that, we have the little kind of uh, slant right here at the top edge. We have our six airflow holes per side and we've got the logo right there engraved on the bottom part right there. On the inside lip, we have a little bit of a dome section at the top, which is great for your flavor. And it has the cap alignment tabs along the inside rim there, which align your cap and also control your airflow. It has a nice stopper at wide open, which is very useful. So here's the recurve dual build deck with my coils still in it. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I had this thing built. And yeah, I know my coils are a little bit dirty and so is my cotton, but in any case, uh, the positioning and the height and everything like that, that's basically what I was trying to get at here. I tried to get the coils as centered with the airflow as possible and just ever so slightly away from the airflow holes just to give it a little bit more room to breathe but with that it's a very good setup there plenty of room to build if you want to build larger coils or if you prefer smaller coils you can do that too and here's the build deck without any coils in it as you can see there's four terminals in the bottom meant for dual coils unlike the original which had four terminals although meant for left-handed or right-handed wrapping you also have the squonk pin going up right through the middle there which we'll talk about later and the nice deep juice wells on either side for tucking your cotton into place. As you can see from the side view, the airflow kind of curves around and just wraps around your coils, which is really great. And I feel like it kind of contributes to the smoothness of it. With the side airflow holes here, which are fully adjustable, as you saw on the top cap section, just makes for one really hell of a smooth draw on this thing. You can also see the screws there, which aren't terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. Really not a whole lot to complain about in that department. Uh, you can see the peak insulators and you can see the o-rings right here the dual o-rings which hold onto that cap really really nicely on the bottom section here we have a couple of engravings it says recurve dual with uh, the watofo logo and mike vapes logo down there hopefully you guys can see that i have my squonk pin installed as you can see there which is of course replaceable with the flat pin and that's pretty much all i've got for you guys in this little close-up section let's go back to the main screen have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is the airflow. I absolutely love the airflow on this thing. It's smooth, it's natural feeling, and it's very quiet as well. It just ticks all the boxes for me personally. I even like the airflow control system. It has that locking mechanism, which keeps the cap in place, and it has the stopper when the airflow is fully open, and usually that's where I keep it. So it's just nice to have that little tactile feeling when the airflow is fully open. Open. My second pro for this one is that it's easy to build. Just like the original recurve, this thing is just as simple to build. You just undo the screws, drop your coils into place, and tighten them down. It's really super simple, and they also give you all the tools necessary to build this thing right there in the box. My third pro for this one is the flavor. The flavor that I get off of this thing is great. I really have been enjoying vaping on this thing ever since I got it out of the box, and I gotta say, for a kind of cloudy sort of RDA, it has a ton of flavor as well. It kind of bridges that gap in between a flavor and cloud RDA for me personally. And my fourth and final pro for this device is the price. You absolutely can't beat a $30 RDA. Mike Vapes is definitely bringing it to the masses with this one here because he's putting out a very high quality product at an affordable price. I always talk about value for your money on this channel and this thing has that for days. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con is that there's really nothing curvy about this device. Considering it's called the Recurve RDA, there's just nothing curvy about it. The barrel's not even curved anymore, and it just seems like kind of just a name at this point. Unfortunately, Mike didn't go with the curved barrel like the original had, which I kind of liked. It just gave it a little bit of a different look, but this one here just seems very, very plain and boring from the outside. My second con for this one is a problem that I get with a lot of dual coil squonkable RDAs these days, which is, if you squonk it and the bottle is a little bit empty, then you could end up with a situation like this. 
If you squeeze the bottle hard enough, juice will fly out the tip and cause a big mess, but uh, I don't think it affects the single coil RDAs as much because at least you have a coil blocking it, but when you have two coils that are separated in the middle, then you get that juice flying straight up in between. And my third and final con is definitely subjective, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of the drip tip that comes with this thing. It's really not that big of a deal, but I just don't understand why Watofo would include a drip tip with a 510 size bore and an 810 size tip. So I just replace it straight away with one of my own tips. And luckily you can do that with anything that you might have in your collection. So at the end of the day, is this thing worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for a review? I'm gonna say yes to this thing. The second I heard about the dual coil recurve coming out, I was absolutely ecstatic about it. I really couldn't wait to see what Mike Vapes would come up with, and he has definitely made another banger of a device. With this one here, it's affordable, so anyone can get their hands on one of these things, even if you just wanna try it out and see what it's like. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I'll have a link on my website. Link to that is right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this don't forget to turn on the notifications if you want to be alerted whenever i upload videos also leave your comments right down there in the box below and check out the links in the description thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always vape on If you did, then make sure you go to the